Notice what our sex hormones are made from, cholesterol. If the cholesterol levels go under 150, that person's going to have hormone problems because they haven't got the cholesterol that the, that, that the body uses to make the sex hormones. That was Barbara O'Neill, a health educator and nutritionist. With a passion for empowering people to achieve optimal wellness through natural and holistic approaches, today we're going to talk about a critical topic, hormone imbalance and how to address it naturally. Hormones are essential messengers in our bodies, influencing everything from our mood and energy levels to metabolism and reproductive health. When these hormones are out of balance, it can lead to a host of issues, including fatigue, weight gain, mood swings, and more. And this video will explore natural solutions to help you restore and maintain hormonal balance. We'll address hormonal imbalances for everyone, from men and women to young adults and seniors. You'll learn about nutritional advice, lifestyle changes, and herbal remedies. Join us as we cover a range of strategies to support your hormonal health naturally. So, if you're experiencing symptoms of hormone imbalance or simply want to learn more about maintaining a healthy hormonal system, let's listen to Barbara as she shares the first step to improving our hormonal balance, starting with young adults. Later in this video, she provides enlightening information for older adults on naturally enhancing sexual hormone health. So how do we turn it around? Number one, eliminate. If you don't turn the tap off, you're still going to be mopping up in the other corner. Stop the pill. Stop HRT. So how do we stop having babies popping up all the time? Well, sex is two-part. Contraception should be two-part. And a woman's body will tell her. It'll give her three signs. One sign is her temperature will change. It's as simple as a woman taking her temperature before she gets out of bed every day. And she will find that her temperature will do this. Then just as she comes to ovulation about 13 or day 14, her temperature will drop. Then it'll go up onto a higher plane. And that is the sign that she has begun ovulation the temperature change. The second sign is that the cervix changes. So when ovulation begins, when progesterone is high, then the sides of the cervix come up a little tighter and the mucus plug goes. Now at first a woman has got nothing to compare it with, but she tests it every day and as the weeks and the months go by, she starts to see those changes. The third sign is that the vaginal mucus changes. So when estrogen's high, it's not as profuse, it's white, thick. And then when progesterone rises, it becomes more profuse, clear and stringy. So what the lady does is she tests it every day and she charts it on a chart. In my new book, Sustain Me, there's going to be a, a place where you can download a chart. So you can make your own chart. The man's role is, and by the way, the lady will find most of the time that she will ovulate in this week here. So she says to her husband, I'm safe, I'm not safe, I'm safe. So when she is not safe, then the husband either masters the art of withdrawal or uses a condom. And that's in that week where she is not safe. My daughter Jessica, she said, Mum, I've got an app on my phone and I put my temperature in every day and I look at my app and it says safe today, uh, not safe today. So I guess there are, you can even add it to your device that'll, that'll tell you. So eliminate the pill and HRT. Implementing what I list here will enable a lady to get off the HRT and also reduce her menopausal symptoms. What about food and hormones? Eliminate the meat and its product. If you want to eat meat and its product, must be organic. What about plastics? What should we do? 
get the plastics out of the home. I think that's impossible to totally eliminate it, but just as much as possible, you can start with your clothes, start with what your body's exposed to, start with what your drinking bottle is, what you're storing your food in. One of the worst is hot food into a plastic takeaway container. And I think most people know that those drink bottles, when they're in the, in the car on a hot day, and you drink that bottle, you're getting a blast of these xenoestrogens. So just being mindful of all of those little bits and pieces. Is there a natural solution we can take? Number two, our liver has the ability to detoxify us from environmental poisons and excess estrogen. So here's the liver. And the liver takes the excess estrogen down one of two pathways. There's the hydroxy-2 pathway and there's the hydroxy-16 pathway. If it goes down the hydroxy-2 pathway, it's out. That's what we want. But if it comes down the hydroxy-16 pathway, it can come in a hundred times worse. So I'll call it Highway 2 and Highway 16. And there are some foods and herbs that will stimulate Highway 2 and inhibit Highway 16. One is the cabbage family. It can be as simple as eating something from the cabbage family every day. Sauerkraut's a great additive to the daily diet. Any of the cabbages, also broccoli, um, bok choy, kale, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, all of those, they contain something called indoles. And indoles are the plant chemical that stimulates Highway 2 and inhibits highway 16. Also vitamin B6, B9 and B12. These three B vitamins stimulate highway 2. Licorice, if you've got high blood pressure, forget the licorice. And also, because it can boost it up, uh, flaxseed, ground flax. We'll be serving ground flaxseed every breakfast. Hippocrates said, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. And you didn't know what I've just told you there. So point number one is turning the tap off. Point number two is getting rid of the excess estrogens. Any other natural solutions to hormonal imbalance? Point number three is applying a yam cream. I know America has several different brands of yam creams. Living Springs sells a few different types. It's a matter of reading your labels and making sure that everything is kosher. But you'll find they all are based on the, the wild yam. Another great additive, which is in most of the yam creams, is Vitex or Chase Tree. But the yam cream contains the diostinin. And when it's applied to the skin, the fat cells take this up and it stimulates this pathway that your body uses to make the mother hormone. And when you boost mother hormone, mother hormone progesterone automatically brings all the others under control, whether you are male or female. Because with men, the number one hormone is progesterone because it's mother hormone. Same with a woman. If testosterone levels are too down, low it'll bring it up. If they're too high, it'll bring it down. Same with progesterone. If they're too low, it'll bring it up. Too high, it'll bring it down. So boosting progesterone basically means you're working with the body to bring about balance. And it's all about balance. It's not so much of putting a hormone into you, it's actually getting the correct balance. Tell us about yam cream usage. How long would you be on the yam cream for? One jar usually lasts three months. And some, some of the yam creams you can, you know, it's just a squeeze of the top. Some of them you put your finger in, it'd be up to about the nail bed. And then one time you put it on the inside of your arm, another time inside of thigh, another time uh, abdomen, another time chest. So you alternate the sites of application. And the yam cream is applied for three weeks a month. 
So the three weeks, where's my thing? So these three weeks here, if you're still menstruating, these are the three weeks that you apply. So basically you stop when you're menstruating. If you're not menstruating anymore, you just choose one week of the month where you do not apply. And for uh, some ladies, they find eliminating the first week of the month or eliminating the last week of the month just makes it easy to remember. Little by little, it brings the balance. So usually it takes a year to get that balance back. So, so people with thyroid problems apply the cream and get that progesterone up to get that estrogen down. Depression, we've seen a few people conquer their depression by going on the yam cream, gets progesterone up, and remember what progesterone is, happy hormone. So all the symptoms that I began with in my first lecture can all be resolved by balancing the hormones through the natural yam creams. I find every country I go to has a yam cream. Again, it's just reading your labels and making sure that, that the, uh, the base that it's in, of course, is a natural base. How else can yam cream help? So let's look at the menopausal woman. The menopausal woman is overweight and this can be a factor with high estrogen being a cell proliferator it's almost impossible to lose weight if you've got high estrogen so it helps with weight loss she's depressed because she's lacking progesterone she has no desire for sex and when she has sex it's painful she's lost the lubricant the cells lining the vagina are tender she's of all women most miserable if she goes on the yam cream, that will certainly boost her libido. It'll help her with weight loss, with, with, uh, with desire, all of that. But what about the lubricant? Any other ways women can improve their hormone balance? So something else is becoming popular, and it's been called the yoni stones. And the yoni stones were developed in the Chinese dynasty to help the empress, the concubines, become sexually toned for the emperor. And they're becoming popular now, and I'll show you why. So first of all, let me draw the stones. So they look like an egg, and they're usually made out of nephrite jade, which is like a green marble. And they have two little holes at the bottom, which allows dental floss to be put in for extraction and so what the lady does is she inserts the largest stone first until it touches the cervix she won't even know it is there but what happens is it's a marble stone so her pelvic girdle the muscles from the inside work to hold that stone there and as the muscles work what happens when you work muscles they get strong they get strong and when those muscles work, they call for a blood supply to bring the oxygen, to bring the nutrients, to feed them so they can work. So what happens with the, in the increase of blood supply, it starts to revive the glands, and so the glands start to make more lubricant. And because of the increase in blood supply, the cells that line the vagina are getting nourished, and so sex is no longer painful. It might take a couple of months of wearing the stone. So how is the stone worn? It's worn for one hour a day, week one. Two hours a day, week two, three hours a day, week three, four hours a day, week four, five hours a day, week five. When a lady's up to wearing it for five hours a day, she can wear that for six months and then go to the middle size stone because now her pelvic girdle is strong enough to be able to hold it. After six months wearing it, Half a day she can start to go to the small one and her pelvic girdle now will be strong. Now not only is it helping women to once again enjoy being intimate with their husband in their 60s, but what also is happening is the strengthening of the pelvic wall or the pelvic girdle prolapses are healing. You see prolapse is basically where gravity's pulling us down and to stop being pulled down, that muscle work. So how again does the yoni stone help? So the strengthening of the pelvic girdle affects also incontinence in the urethra, 
it affects um, prolapse in the urethra, prolapse in the, in the vagina area because it just strengthens, the holding of the stone strengthens the um, pelvic girdle. So you can see why it's helping a lot of women today. What can men do? What about men? Because men are not cyclic, men don't stop. They just use the yam cream every day. Why would a man use it? He would use it for prostate problems. He would also use it for penile dysfunction. He would use it for low sperm count. He would use it for maybe too much of the female hormone. You see, with a man with prostate problems, when estradiol levels go too high, it can cause a drop in testosterone and a drop in progesterone. And so boosting progesterone means testosterone is balanced and the estrogen is born back under control. Because when testosterone goes too high, then dihydrotestosterone is produced or converted and that causes inflammation of the prostate gland. And so that's where these yam creams can help with male problems as well. Remember, your health is the lock and we're here to provide the keys. Keep turning to Key Health for insights that unlock your full potential. The key to lifelong vitality is in your hands, it's just one bite away.